One hour later. Now I do love my shoes and I do have a bit of an addiction when it comes to buying them. I think I've got about 20 pairs to show you in this video and that's after me selling a load that I never wore. Now there's definitely no need for you to own that many pairs of shoes and I didn't realize I had that many before filming this video. So don't think it's normal, it's definitely not normal. I have built up my collection over a number of years though so that's one of the reasons I have so many. Also, talking about fashion, it's my job, so I have more stuff than you really need, so do keep that in mind. The shoes I go for these days are all timeless, they're all quite simple, so they're really easy to style. And yeah, I definitely have a style that I like, and you'll see that in this video. Anyway, let's not waste any more time, I'm starting to waffle now, and we've got a lot to get through. If you like this video at any point, please do leave it a like, and now that's all out of the way, Let's get into the shoes. So let's start off with the sneaker that I wear the most and it's my current favorite sneaker. And if you followed the channel for a while now, you probably already know what it is, but it's the Converse Chuck Taylor 70. Now I currently own these in the black colorway and in the natural colorway. And I used to own them in the low top versions too, but I never wore them, so I sold them. I definitely prefer the high tops in this shoe. Anyway, I'm a UK size nine and I picked these up in a half size down. So I picked them up in an eight and a half. The Converse website suggests that you go down half a size as well. And I'm not gonna argue with them. I do agree with them. Now, just to let you know, the first wear in these is brutal. Every time I get a new pair, my heels are shredded in them. And yeah, after that, they're fine, but just be prepared. Just be, just be prepared for that. Now these shoes do run quite narrow, but I found going true to size made no difference in the width. It just made them a bit longer. And I did actually own them in my true size a few years ago. And what I found is the end, because it was a bit too long, it started to curl up a bit and it ruined the aesthetic of the shoe. But as I always say, try them on for yourself and see how you get on with them. Next up, we've got my Vans Skate High. Now I've always been a massive fan of Vans and I've always had a pair in my rotation. And just like Converse, they're a very simple shoe and some people might think they're a bit too basic, but not for me. The more basic, the better, I say. Now it had been quite a while since I bought a pair of Skate Highs until I bought this pair more recently and I'm absolutely loving them at the moment. They definitely give off a similar look to the Chuck 70s, but they're slightly more chunky, and I'd say slightly more casual. It's also worth mentioning that these are wider than the Converse, so if you do find Converse too narrow for you, try a pair of these out. But like the Converse, these are a timeless classic. The black colorway means I can wear them all year round, and I'm so glad to have a pair in my rotation. But as I always do with my Vans, I always go true to size, and they fit me perfectly. So as we're already talking about Vans, I'm gonna show you my pairs of Authentics next. Now Vans Authentics are probably my favorite of the low top models, and I don't think there's been a time where I haven't had a pair in my rotation. Maybe when I was like five, but apart from that. And I currently own a pair of the LX version in the black colorway and also a regular pair in the cream colorway. Now I wear the black pair all year round, but the cream pair I only wear in the summer because that canvas would get filthy if I wore them in the winter. But like most fans, these will go with pretty much anything and I feel you can easily dress them up and down. I also wear these as my lifting shoes in the gym at the moment. They're not the best lifting shoes out there, but they look good and they do the job. So they're a very versatile sneaker. Next up, we've got the Reebok Club C85's TV. Now I don't really know what the TV stands for. I'm assuming it's television. But why? If you know why, let us know in the comments, please. Anyway, these sneakers are really comfortable and they're perfect in the warmer weather, but I haven't really been wearing them that much recently. And come to think of it, recently I haven't really been wearing white sneakers on the whole. I've definitely been wearing darker colors more, so that's probably the reason why. But as these are a timeless classic and I still do love them, it doesn't really matter. I might wear them next year, or if not, maybe the year after that. They're never gonna go out of style. I went true to size in these and they fit me like a dream. I'm not sure how a dream is supposed to fit, but basically they fit me perfectly. Moving on. Next, we're gonna move on to my very small Adidas collection. And these two pairs are very similar. But at the time of buying them both, I couldn't work out which pair I like best. 
and I still don't know, so I had to pick up both. But the first pair I picked up were the Sambas, and the second pair I picked up are the Handball Specials. Now, I mainly wear these if I'm just popping out to get some milk or to the supermarket. I don't know why, but they make an excellent grocery shopping shoe. I also think they look good with a fuller length trouser. I don't wear fuller length trousers that much, but if I do, then I do wear a pair of these. Now, I went true to size in these, and they fit me perfectly. But just a word of warning, the Sambas, when I first got them, they shredded up my heel. I'm not sure if it's just the way I'm walking, why I'm experiencing so much heel shred, but if you experience that too, do let me know in the comments. So the next pair of sneakers I've got is the Acne Studio Ballo sneaker. Now, before I bought these, I was actually looking at buying a pair of Van slip-ons and I saw these in the sale and I thought they'd be nice for a change. Now, these are actually my first pair of shoes from Acne Studios and they are very simple, but that's why I like them. I think these retail for just over 200 pounds, which is a lot for a slip-on sneaker, but I was lucky enough to get these for 40% off. Now, I normally only wear slip-on sneakers in the summer, but as these are black, I think I can easily wear them in the autumn and winter too. So I'm gonna wear them in the autumn and winter too. Why not? Now, even though they're a very casual sneaker, you could easily dress these up and I'd happily wear them for an evening out or to dinner or something like that. Not a smart dinner, but more of a casual dinner. Now, when I first bought these, I bought them in my true size and they did fit me, but because they're a slip-on sneaker, I was worried that they'd stretch a bit and no longer fit, so I did size down. The size eight do still fit me, but they are a little bit snug. Now, I haven't had these long and I've only worn them a handful of times, so going down a size, was I right to do that? Only time will tell. Next, we've got a sneaker that I absolutely love, but I don't wear these days, and it's the Nike Air Max 90. Now, the only reason I don't wear these shoes is because I don't think they suit my style even though I do love them. I used to always do this with sneakers because I love the look of them so much and I appreciate them so much. I used to buy a load of pairs that I knew wouldn't suit me, but I just kind of wanted them. Now I have stopped doing this nowadays and my bank balance is thankful for it. And I wouldn't recommend you do the same either. Anyway, this was a custom pair that I made myself using Nike ID and they were supposed to be all in the same sale colorway. But when I got them, some parts were more yellowish and at the time I was really disappointed by this, but I suppose it's made them more unique and I kind of like that about them now. It has kind of put me off using Nike ID in the future, but maybe I was just unlucky. But if you had similar problems, do let me know. Now I know I should sell these because I don't wear them, but because I designed them, they're kind of a bit special to me. So I don't want to let them go, but they are very comfortable. I picked them up in my true size and they fit like a glove. Next up, we move on to an old favorite of mine, my Common Projects collection. So I've got a black pair and a white pair of the Achilles Low and a white pair of the B-Ball Lows. I remember picking up my first pair of these about five or six years ago and they were the only sneakers I wore, but these days I don't wear them at all. Although they would suit my current style, I think I'm a little bit bored of the clean white minimal sneaker. Even though I like things to be simple and basic because they're easier to style, I just think I overdid it a bit. But even though Rose Anvil's video tears these shoes apart, literally, I always found they held up really well for me. Now, along with a few others off this list, I will be selling these, but I just haven't got round to it yet. We not long ago moved house, so it's been quite busy, but yeah, I'll get on it soon. So the next sneaker I've got are my Gats from Mason Margiela. So I've probably had these for over a year now and they've never left the house. Basically, I picked these up in a size 43 and I should have picked them up in a size 42. So why didn't I exchange them for another size, you ask? Good question. Well, when I first got them, I was so excited to show them off that I wore them in a recent pickups video for this channel. And even though I only wore them on the carpet, where I was bending my foot, they got some really small creases in them, so I couldn't send them back. But even though I was gutted at the time, it's not the end of the world. These sneakers hold their value really well, so I will sell them and I'll make a decent chunk of my money back for them. Next up, we've got my running shoes and it's the Nike React Infinity 2. Now, it's probably time that I got a new pair of running shoes, but these have held up quite well. They have developed a bit of a squeak in them, so you can hear me coming. But apart from that, they're all right. I went true to size in these and they do fit me perfectly. And they've got quite a generous toe box. So when you're running, 
your foot isn't rubbing against the sides, which is really nice. But not much to say about these. They are a pair of running shoes. They're very comfortable. I think they've actually released the three, the third version of these. So yeah, I might check those out for my next pair. But yeah, let's move on. So now we're moving into my shoes and the first pair are my Clark's Wallabies. Now I don't really wear shoes much. I'm definitely more of a sneaker person, but I do love a Clark's Wallaby. Now, when I was picking a pair of these up, I wasn't sure whether to get the maple pair or the black pair, but I thought I'd be able to wear the black pair a lot more. I'd be able to wear them year round. So I picked up the black pair and I'm really glad I did. I sized down a full size in these and they fit me perfectly and they're surprisingly comfortable. From the shape of them, I didn't think they'd be that comfortable, but they are. I tend to wear these if I wanna smarten myself up a bit, but I don't wanna go full on smart, but you could just as easily wear them casually. So next we move on to my loafer collection, and I've got three pairs from GH Bass, and one pair from a collaboration between Arquette and Morhas. Pronounce that wrong, but we'll crack on. Now I actually got all of these pairs of shoes through campaigns I did over on Instagram, apart from the black pair from GH Bass. And I've had these shoes for years now, but I'm finding myself wearing them less and less these days. As I said, if I'm going for a casual look, then I'll wear sneakers. And if I'm going for something a little bit smarter, then I tend to wear my Clark's Wallabies. But saying that, a pair of loafers will always come in handy, and I'm sure further down the line, I'll appreciate having them. Now, I always say, if you don't wear something, get rid of it. But when it comes to formal shoes, I don't always do that. I think it's always a good idea to have some options in your wardrobe. With formal footwear, you never know when you might need a pair. So even though I don't wear them now, I'm sure there's gonna be a time or an occasion where I will need them. Maybe not four pairs, but definitely one. And like I do with most of my formal footwear, I size down a full size in all of these shoes and they fit me well. So next we move on to a pair of my smartest shoes and a pair of shoes that will probably only feature in this video and probably never on Instagram because I don't wear Oxford shoes unless I'm wearing a suit and I don't wear suits often. But this pair are a leather pair of Oxfords from Lowkey. But in my opinion, every man should own a smart pair of Oxford shoes. You never know when you might need them. They're great for weddings, for funerals, sadly. But yeah, if you get a decent pair, they'll last you a lifetime. And as I already mentioned, with my dress shoes, I normally size down a full size. And that's what I did with these. And they fit me perfectly. So next we move on to my boots. And it's this pair from Veyron. Now I picked this pair up last winter. And I think they're a great looking boot. And they're made of apple leather rather than leather. So they are quite soft. And they are very comfortable. I don't think they even needed a break-in period. And my heels were very thankful for that. No shredded heels with these. But I think Veyron boots are going to be very popular this year. I'm seeing more and more people in them. And with these, I size down a full size and they fit me perfectly. But they've got a great sizing guide on their website. So do check that out if you want to buy a pair. I'm not much of a boot person, but when it's really cold outside and I need a pair of boots, these are the pair that I wear. Next, we move on to my sandals and it's my Birkenstock Arizonas. Now, I only really wear these on holiday or around the house. I've never really been one for wearing sandals as an everyday casual shoe. But yeah, I'm a little bit bored of seeing Birkenstocks these days, but they do definitely have their place. And I definitely prefer the look of these over a thonged flip-flop. So on holiday, if I'm going out and it's really hot, I will wear a pair of these. Anyway, everyone knows Birkenstocks by now, and I know a lot of people go true to size with these, but I find sizing down fits me a lot better. So those are all the shoes that I currently own, and I know a lot of them look quite similar to one another, but I have a style that I like, and at least I know I'm gonna wear them. But let me know which your favorite pair were down in the comments, and let me know which pairs you own. If you like this video, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you later.